Hey everybody, it's Sean Taylor and I'm back with more ways to build and blow up as an artist. Today we're going to go over seven steps to build a fan base like Chance the Rapper. And I should say a fanatical fan base because Chance the Rapper has probably the realest fan base there is. And I mean fan base, not just I like their music so it gets the most plays. I'm talking about really mobilizing people. He's as the realest fan base, you'll see what I'm talking about in hip hop right now in terms of a young artist, especially for being independent. So let's start. As 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 it grew, my dad is like, you know, he was a campaign manager. Mm -hmm. He put people in, in office, put showed people to the people. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, and my dad, at a certain point, kind of campaign managed me and, and showed me how to like, you know, print flyers and and move on foot and work organically with the people to like. So you, was like, my base. you was a political activist, kind of. You was yeah. out there. I'm for the people. Right? So this is what to think about. How can you campaign like Chance? Because he learned from his dad, and his dad was a campaign manager. So what do campaign managers campaign like? This is what we're going to go over in this video. But I'm, I'm <laughs> a, a, an artist of sorts, and uh, from Chicago, I'm for the people. So in this clip... Chance said he's for the people. In the last clip, he said he's for the people, and he put his fist up. And that's number one when it comes to campaign management. Know who you are. It sounds kind of weird. It sounds kind of corny. But know who you are because you have to have a clear understanding of who you are to know how you want to communicate with the people. Everyone who doesn't know, who don't know Chance the Rapper, you don't sell your music. No. It's free. Yeah. Um, well, do you know? Do you know you can't? How, how, how do you? How do you make money? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm on tour right now. I'm a touring artist. Uh, as uh, music grows, there there's always new ways of releasing, and you know there's visual albums and you know full concerts and and big Broadway musicals. Rule number two: Know your audience. So what does that really mean? Right. First, you have to know who you are. Then you have to know your audience because you have to know how to communicate, interact with that audience. Chance doesn't sell records. His audience, the young audience, people don't want to hear that shit these days. They don't want to hear anybody crying about how, oh, I don't make enough money or people should start paying for stuff. They don't want to hear that. That's dead. So not only does he resonate even stronger with his audience by not actually selling his music, but he also even goes on to speak of these creative ways that he could make money anyway. And that kind of stuff just makes you like him even more, right? Because the ways he thought of was give more content, Broadway shows and touring, actually giving more to the audience, to his fans, as opposed to just trying to figure out some kind of sneaky business ways. And I want to go back and re see how he re um, the audience reacts once again when he says he doesn't sell music. Everyone who doesn't know, who don't know Chance the Rapper, you don't sell your music. No. It's free. Yeah. Um, well, do, you know, do you know you can't... <laughs> See that? Speaking to his audience and knowing how to get them and move them. But let's move on from there. We can go into that later. Have a story to tell. This is a huge part of any campaign management. This is how you move people. You can think civil rights, how people had this entire movement, this backstory of slavery and things like that to move people on. Well, look how Chance with 10 Day had a complete story around it. And I'm going to let him tell it himself. Now explain the concept of 10 Day. 10 Day was uh, recorded while I was on a uh, 10 day suspension from high school. What you do? Why you get suspended? Weed. I have, yeah, I have marijuana. I don't know what the rules are for FM <laughs> radio. I'm just saying, I had we not really a lot of weed, but like on on school property, I guess. Or oh, like a half a zip, a zip. No, like like a like a maybe a maybe blood? a quarter, maybe a quarter. Okay, you like, selling or smoking? I was smoking, but they were trying to say I had intent to sell, but I didn't. I had it in one bag. It was for me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Did I, you tell I had them weed. I'm a user. I wasn't really trying to say nothing to them. I didn't know what was incriminating, what was not. Gotcha. So I was chilling. <laughs> So when you hear Chance tell this story, this makes people relate to him, particularly in that age range. This was his very first drop. You have a story as a whole concept, but it's not even all this. It's not so abstract. It's 10 days. OK, 10 days of suspension. A lot of people can relate to suspensions. I was suspended twice. 
Then you have this concept of the we. People could relate to the we. There's so many ways and things people could relate to a story, and people will always pull what they can relate to most out of that story because it resonates with them and it gives them a visual of who the person is. And people are always trying to figure out who is this artist. They're trying to figure out ways to get closer. When you even look at acid rap, acid rap had a story in itself. Just the whole idea of acid rap, it creates a story of who you think Chance is, what you expect from the music. And now, even if you didn't have any kind of name from the music, now you're thinking, okay, what made him think of that? He must have been on acid, right? And even Coloring Book, the last project, that had a story in itself. It was a lot less straightforward in the first two projects, but when you have such a strong fan base and following at that point, people are going to be listening for some kind of concept and creating themselves. And what you could probably get out of that album is just the fact that he's um, in a better place in life. And that's kind of the constant theme throughout that whole project. He's in a better place. Um, thank God he, you know, is having, having the child and with his girl, all that kind of stuff. But it's constantly, constantly implementing stories to give your crowd or to and people something to resonate and move with because when people can relate to you they feel closer to you when they feel closer to you they will do more for you and as an artist that's how you have power and we'll get to that later on so look at this chance is just making a tweet chicago bulls so not only is he Staying strong with his local folks. But that's just a small little interaction. That's how a lot of people use Twitter. And then you look at this tweet. He tweeted these cute little babies. Look at the babies. It's Halloween. People got their babies dressed as Chance the Rapper. Once again, it's how strong. It's showing how strong his fan base is. People have babies dressed like this dude. And this is young in his career. Think about it. And then look, baby, baby, baby. Look at these cute ass babies. That is a strong strong engagement with his audience he stays engaged with his audience when you constantly engage with your audience you become more real to your audience people love you even more and a lot of people they don't necessarily well a lot of artists i mean they want this whole mysterious thing and if that's the thing you're going for you know the whole prince thing that's a different type of story that's a different strategy but this is for those people who want really strong engaged audiences that will do damn near anything for you and that's what chance has and he's been developing uh not that many years ago i was you know still trying to pass out my mixtape i'm still trying to pass out my mixtapes do you guys know how hard it is to make Tell everybody them. know your music like even when people feel like you know you can't get much bigger or your music's played everywhere like when you're an artist, your sole, you know, purpose is to like share your music with everybody. This is a key I'm for two reasons, really. I just can't escape every single time I have a video. I'm not going to make it a core strategy because it's obvious and everybody should do it to the max. Get attention. It shows that he understands this even as big as he is. He's still passing out resources. But that's only a small tip of the iceberg to also touch about the fact that He's galvanizing his resources. He even recognizes himself as a resource and still to this day passes out mixtapes when he gets a chance. But I'm going to show an even stronger version of galvanizing resources at the end. So check this out. If you guys don't know about Chance, the rapper, Buddy in the Middle, Donnie Trumpet, and the social experiment, that's all these guys around him. He constantly works with these guys in various ways but they even had a social experiment project collaboration is a key it's a strong key when it comes to campaigning that whole campaign management style because you want to strengthen the relationships it's all about relationships if you notice everything that is i've talked about and that he's done it's all about creating strong bonds at scale with a lot of people it's hard to create bonds with a lot of people and make them strong but if you can then you can move mountains. That's that Martin Luther King type stuff. And also, you got to have a team. I just put that in parentheses down there. So some of these people, these friends, are also his his team in various projects in various ways as well. But we'll have a whole other video um, about just team in general if it's necessary. Enough people want to hear about that, though. 
Also, collaboration. I don't know if you guys even understand how huge of a deal for an independent artist, especially hip hop, to be on Ellen. It's fucking ridiculous. It doesn't happen at all. Prince Chance <laughs> called him Prince. Chance might have broken barriers, so now more people might be in that window now that he's broken through. But Ellen is the hugest. It's, it doesn't make sense. But look at this collaboration. Look at some more collaboration. Everybody knows probably already that's Two Chain, Little Wayne. Sorry. Skrillex is over here in the background with him on Stephen Colbert. Another mind blowing the fact that he was on there. And then if you check this out, I think this was on Jimmy Fallon. C collaboration with Anthony Hamilton, Ty Dolla Sign, Rory to the far right. Obviously, he's the guy that's kind of darkened out right there. You don't see collaborations like these and all. This was one of the su most super interesting collaborations I've seen the fact that he was smart enough to do something like this because they weren't on the regular track or at least well probably on some kind of vocal course but to actually bring them out unheard of but it shows how he constantly builds abnormal relationships and makes them very strong mobilize now we're getting to the sweet stuff i just had to put this one on front street because when you have a culmination of all those things that we've talked about so far Right, mobilize is number seven. You really have power when I say you can do more and move mountains to do something like this. Right, Chance the Rapper had a parade to vote this election. Obviously, Donald Trump won, but he had all these people come out around him. He had a free concert, then had people walk with him to vote. You see, Richard Branson tweeting this i don't know if you guys understand how huge that is this dude's a billionaire for him to even know who chance is and there's so much i can say about that but it really shows how chance is really creating a movement and you can create a powerful movement too if you follow these seven strategies it takes time it takes some you know some smarts but then there are also other strategies like i said that once again i'll go over more if people want to hear different strategies i just need to get that feedback and those views share this with your friends um if, if you think they'll be interested if they're just trying to campaign or if they want to be rappers and campaign that way to create a following also i'll just drop it off if you really want to have that following once again i can't reiterate enough you can follow these steps and you can end up possibly looking like this Hope to hear from you guys. Subscribe. I'm dropping something next week.